Okay, so I was working on doing um, kit videos and I had um, bought um, the stuff to do three kits um, of my own. I did the first one and I was working on doing the second one and the photos that I had pulled um, because I wanted to scrapbook them next didn't really fit that kit. Um, they didn't, the colors and things like that didn't work well. Um, the um, you know the elements and things that were in that kit wouldn't really work very well with it but I still want to do those photos so um, because I've got them all sorted and in the order that I want to scrapbook them so I decided to um, put that one aside for now and I'll figure out some other photos to do with that but in the meantime I came up with um, the idea of just pulling um, stuff from my stash to do um, another kit with so um, this time I'm pulling actually quite a bit more stuff than I did in the other one because, you know, my resources are unlimited as far as what's already here. Um, so, anyway, I decided to, uh, the pictures that I'm getting ready to work on are uh, of a hiking trip. So, um, I'm going to scrapbook them. And this is what I decided to base the colors off of. This is actually for camping. It's by, it's gone camping by Best Creation, Inc. Hmm. Um, but anyway, it has certain things in it that's like this, that say, um, going hiking, um, this one says on the trail, great outdoors, uh, roughing it, fresh air, so I thought those would work even though they're not camping, um, pictures. Uh, this one I got in a kit, it's by Glitz Design, I actually wasn't a huge fan of it and I'm still not a huge fan of this side, but this one might work. Um, it has like some wood grain type things in it, and this one says the adventure um, begins. Um, so, journey, or oh, it's journal here, I guess, actually. Anyway, so I thought that's a possibility. So again, I based the papers that I selected off of the colors, for the most part, that were in here. This is a really old paper by EK Success. Um, I liked it, though, because it, it just looked, um, I don't know rugged, I guess. It kind of reminds me of a bandana. This is also by Best Creations. Um, this one actually says California. Not sure if that's actually a line or what, but um, I like the stars and stuff. I do a lot with the stars, so um, I thought that one would work well. This is by Cosmo Cricket, and it is Earth Love Rethink. Um, I thought I would use this side, but now that I'm looking at this side, it has um, butterflies, and I think these are all mushrooms, so I don't know, that has the possibility of both sides. This one's wood green, again, and it's um, Sweet Girl by Echo Park. I like this side with the yellow wood green. Won't use that side more than likely. Um, this is Studio Calico. Um, I could use the red, or this side is actually wood green again. This one's the glitz paper, and it's the wood grain picture print. Um, this actually I just pulled from one of those um, stacks of paper that you get at Michael's, and I just selected it because of the leafy pattern. Um, probably won't use the other side. This is by Echo Park again, and it's all about a boy. I used this in a different kit, and um, I had the sheet left, so I decided to incorporate that. This one is both sides, this is front and back, and it is also by October Afternoon, and it's called Rock Candy. Oh, and then these are just cardstock um, in the various shades that matched this. So, that's the paper. I went through um, most of my embellishments and stuff to pull things that I thought I could possibly use and I found this that has like globes and things like that on it. It's sort of a washi tape but it's, um, I don't know, it's kind of fibery material like. I think it was by Seven Gypsies so I'll see about that. Um, this is definitely a different type of washi tape. Um, I don't have too many of those so I just ordered some more but I don't know if they'll be here by the time I'm done with all this so. Um, I thought that these stamps would work well since it says adventure and journey and explore. So I pulled those out. Pulled out these. Um, they're all labels. And this is by um, Simple Stories. 
What's this one? Snap stickers. I don't know. There's just a bunch of different labels and different colors. I haven't used it, so I thought I would. This is basic gray um, bloomers. This is really old collection. I think, well, I call it really old. What's this one? Origins. Yeah, I have um, obviously only used one of the flowers, so I thought I would try to use these. This one I bought, um, and I actually really don't like this piece. I don't like the orange and the yellow, but I was thinking that I could possibly pull those off and use the leaf thing. So we'll see what we can do with that. Um, this is just a piece of uh, corrugated um, cardboardy stuff. Um, I just purchased this glassine things that are Tim Holtz. So I wanted to incorporate those somehow just to kind of play with it and have fun. Um, I went through a bunch of my die cuts and pulled just any of them that I thought had somewhat of a nature theme or anything like that. Trail markers, don't feed the animals, um, camera, I don't know. I just pulled different things and we'll see what happens with that. Some of them are pretty old. Uh, but may as well use up the old stuff too. Then I pulled these label stickers. Um, these ones are jelly bean um, soup. Mm. This one says journaling too. These are graphic 45 I think. No, 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 I'm sorry. Seven Gypsies is who I was thinking. Um, these are again jelly bean and they're those octagon shaped ones. Uh, this is again camping. By October afternoon but I'm assuming too that there's some stuff in here that I could probably use these are those glitz ones again and I'm not too sure about them but there's the wood grain so and then the yellow I don't know we'll see about those um, I wasn't really a big fan of that design for some reason it reminds me too much of like stuff from the 70s um, okay I pulled I have a bunch of chipboard um, grunge board actually those Tim Holtz packs that I bought and I haven't used too much of lately so I thought I would pull some um, of the flower chipboard things and try to incorporate those. Then I found this big flourish that I thought maybe I would do. These are actually making memories really old. Um, those metal tags that everybody used them for a long time back in the day and I still had some so I thought it would be fun to try to figure out a new way to use those. Then I pulled a few um, just small embellishments, um, some buttons, thinking I would use those, a few chipboard pieces, corners, wood veneers, um, a few washers that have descriptions on them, a couple brads. Um, anyway, that's the majority of what I've pulled. I don't think I'll limit myself um, by saying that I'm only going to use these things, but um, since I'm pulling items that are already in my stash, but, uh, but I'll probably try to for the most part. Um, anyway, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to try my hand at narration again. <laughs> I am currently just taping down um, two 4 by 6 photos to that wood-grained glitz paper. I don't know the name of that line, but um, I'm sure you've all seen it plenty of times. I've seen it in a ton of videos. Um, and then that's being taped down to um, the grid paper. Um, after that, I'm going to cut the um, colored paper, the striped colored paper behind it, and um, then we'll see where I go from there. Once I was done with trimming all the papers down, then I inked the edges of everything, um, like usual, with, um, I believe it was vintage, you know what, no, it's not vintage photo, it's um, walnut ink, the walnut stain one from uh, the Distress Inks from Tim Holtz. Um, I use that one a lot, actually, so that was the one, because it's darker. Um, so that was the one I used, and I inked the edges of all of the um, paper, including the cardstock. So now I'm taking this um, stencil, I believe the stencil is called Sorely Doos, and I am um, 
just going to frame this um, collage that I have going on um, around the outside with um, using Distress Ink and going through um, the stencils onto the cardstock below. There wasn't one part of the stencil that I liked the best um, that would make it just smooth, so I had to kind of play around with the stencil and twist and turn it to get um, it to have leaves, because that was mostly what I wanted. Um, it was winter, I think, when we went hiking, so I didn't want the little flowers. So now at this point I decided that I was going to try this um, Tim Holtz grunge board flourish and I was thinking I was going to incorporate it onto the page so I decided to paint it and then um, I went over the top of that with uh, some distress ink to sort of make it look variegated. Um, after doing all that though I ended up deciding not to use it on this layout. Um, it was just too big and covered up the photos in the wrong place so I do end up using it on another layout though that I created from this kit and so it'll be in the video at the end. So when I decided I wasn't going to use the other flourish, then I thought I would try these basic gray um, felt stickers. And so um, I decided to pull off all of the orange and yellow um, just to get down to the green. But after I did all that, I also decided that I didn't like that on here either. <laughs> um, I never actually did end up getting to use this one, though, on any of the layouts that I created from this kit. Um, so those are still stuck in my stash. So this was another project that I thought I would do, and that was just to take the dew drops and um, sprinkle them with the lettuce alcohol ink. Now looking back on this, I think this probably would have been easier if I had put them into like a baggie and dropped some of the drops in there and then just squished it around. Um, that's not how I did it, but <laughs> uh, I th my thoughts on this were that I would take them and just sprinkle them around the page in different areas and then um, I decided against it after doing all of this work again, so I think that's like three different things on here that I was thinking I was going to use and did not end up using. Since I was stuck with trying to figure out any embellishments, I decided to go ahead and start working on my title. And these are just some thickers. Um, I don't, I uh, don't know who these ones are. They have like the stitching on them. So uh, I decided that I was going to use these, and then I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put them. Um, once I decided where to put it, that sort of helped me with at least one of the embellishments, and things started to pick up from there. So the leaf die cut and that flower, or not flower, what is that, circle die cut, um, were both from a die cut pack that was um, like zoo animals or safari, something to that nature. It had a lot of animals in it. Um, it was really cute. So I decided to use them though because of their outdoor nature. And then I did go ahead and cut a piece of that Best Creations paper 
out and I got the part that says going hiking. Um, then I'm inking just a little label to attach. Um, I'm also going to put um, corners, uh, photo corners on two of the corners and then I put a wood veneer bird and then a wood veneer um, mushroom down at the bottom. Um, I'm also going to put a strip of paper across the top because I wanted to get rid of some of that blue space. Um, once I was done with that then I went ahead with the stamps that I had showed in the beginning and stamped explore um, above the stone wall. So it was exploring stone wall. Um, and I think that that's pretty much it. You know what? No, I put a um, flower at the top of this layout too, but I it, I didn't do it while the video was going. So you'll see it in the photos at the end. And then um, I did also include photos of the other layouts that I created from this uh, kit, um, one of which does have the flourish that I'm painted green and that type of um, thing. And then... Um, the other one did include those tags that I had mentioned in the very beginning that um, I wanted to try to incorporate that were old, uh, those making memories tags that were square and metal and stuff. Um, so I was actually glad that I was able to incorporate those um, and get rid of some of this old product, especially since I'm sure we haven't seen it in quite a while. <laughs> but anyway, I have it still in my stock, so and just, instead of getting rid of it all, I just wanted to use some of it. So anyway, thank you for watching.